So, here we are in a very odd situation. We've just had two very important by-elections. The first one was the very good seeing off of Paul Nuttall, who now will basically be resigned to the comedy dustbin of history. Labour won that seat and it kept it. However, that very night it lost a seat. And this is important because the seat it lost in Corby, which is far up north, hasn't changed in 30 years. It has been a singular red seat for 30 years and it hasn't changed. Now that should be very worrying to Labour. Very worrying indeed. Because as I have constantly said throughout this all my videos about Corbyn and Labour at the moment, they are still in the midst of a, a civil war. Um, despite Corbyn seeing off, uh, you know, a challenge to his leadership and, you know, once again winning the, the party vote, he can't unite the party behind him. There are still people who, after that loss, basically said, Corbyn needs to step down. And there is a lot of people who think the same way. But what Labour needs to be doing, if it wants to win, because I think, given what's going to happen, I think we are going to be in for 15 to 20 years of awful economic downturns. That is what I think. And even after that, it's not going to be very good. So, batten down the hatches because it's about to get shit. And as someone who is gonna live through all those years and hopefully come out of it the other end, it's gonna be shit. It really is. So, <coughs> what do Labour need to do? Quite simply, it needs to annihilate the Tories and what they're gonna do by simply Offering a vision of a, you know, Labour-led UK. Exactly what Tony Blair did. Now, many people have been admonishing Tony Blair for the fact that, oh, um, he's going against the will of the people by, you know, saying that we should stay in Europe. Those people forget it was the exact same people who voted for Brexit that gave Tony Blair his landslide victory in 1997. And I think Tony Blair probably knows more about Europe than any of those people. So, <coughs> we need to give a vision of what Britain is going to be, what are our solutions, because I'll tell you now, the idea of this northern powerhouse, there's been a token sum given uh, to the north. But I'll tell you this now, it is pennies, absolute pennies as to what it really, really needs to be. And for other people saying, oh, what about the Midlands? What about, you know, the other regions of the country? You should be wanting this as well, because if we can get the northern powerhouse working, and if we can get it invested rightly and show this is how it's done, then the rest of this can be rolled out to the other regions. Because if the, can, the North works, then that will fund even more you know, funding for the rest of the region. And here's the thing. The Tories are notorious for this. Because if you've got... If you're the Tory government and you've got um, £15,000 to spend on a town or community that needs investment, do you give it to the North or even Midlands towns that are economically struggling and crying out for economic investment, but they are, you know, red towns. These have always, you know, voted for Labour. You're not going to give it to them. You're going to give it to the conservative towns. It's going to go to villages that don't frankly need it. It's going to go to 
cities that it's literally going to be just like throwing it into a black hole. There are awful, awful times ahead and Labour desperately needs to show what a vision of a, a Labour-led UK will be going forward. And at the moment, nothing like that is being said. Corbyn is weak when it comes to getting this message out. But I still think he's got some good policies. The problem is he just can't get his message out. And it's not resonating with the public at all. And if he can't do that, he's going to lose the next general election. And then he's going to have to leave. And, you know, the, the Liberal Democrats are exactly the same position. I like a lot of their policies. But, you know, as I was often to refer to them, they are the ghost party. They are the party that, you know, seems to be there, but not quite there. Will they, you know, start spreading this? Because if they beat Labour to it, then they'll start to get, you know, traction again. But until, <coughs> um, you know, Labour or the Lib Dems sort themselves out and start offering that vision, then the Tories can sleepwalk through it. You know, you'll get Theresa May spewing out ridiculous speeches of they want a red, white and blue Brexit, which is the biggest load of bull I have ever heard because it means nothing. So please, guys, get your act together. Because it's really worrying. It generally is.